I want to talk about so maybe some celebrities okay. that are out there that you can think of that have made some poor decisions financially. And I started looking into this and it's crazy what happens to people when they stumble into large portions of money. Right. It just because you have a lot of money doesn't necessarily mean that you're actually wealthy. You can absolutely derail the train. And one of the first people that comes to mind for me, Johnny Depp. Johnny Depp. Let's talk about him a little bit. Well, here, let's quote him first. Yeah. Money doesn't change anybody. Money reveals them. I'm still exactly the guy that used to pump gas. That's powerful to me. That's really Isn't powerful that? because it's like, just because you have a bunch of money, doesn't, it doesn't change who you are necessarily. Right. right? Like it, it didn't make him financially savvy. Right. No. The, he, the guy that was pumping gas, got a acting job. Things blew up real rapidly. Millions and millions of dollars. Like, I mean, he said it himself. It didn't change him at all. It just revealed who his true self is. He's extravagant. Right. He wanted to live like there's no tomorrow. And we see that in the way that this guy spent money. Let me, Justin, let me throw some numbers at you here. So this guy had a very extravagant lifestyle in 2013. He came out publicly and said he was spending over $2 million per month on expenses, right? <laughs> like for the average listener, you're like, man, I've got expenses of $4,000 a month or right. something. No, Johnny Depp, $2 million per month. How did he spend it? Justin, do you want to talk about that a little yeah. bit? Wine, which that's, we live in wine country. We do. $30,000 a month. How do you, so I just want to pause right there because I'm looking at this number too and I'm like, how do you spend $30,000 a month on wine? $1,000 bottle of wine a day. So Johnny must have been <laughs> intoxicated more often than he, or he had a lot of friends uh, to share that bottle with. But yeah, so that's a, a replacement, right? Like where the normal person is spending $30 on a bottle of wine. He's spending 3000 So this goes back to the very start of the show, lifestyle inflation, right? Like you're making more money. Your $30 bottle of wine is now a $3,000 bottle right. of wine. You got to watch that red flag. Okay. What else? What else? Yeah, is in here? This one is my favorite because I haven't decided if it's bad or it's good. I think what you're about to say is awesome because I know what's coming. It built a $3 million cannon. Yeah. To shoot his friend's ashes. Yeah. Yeah. The guy was Hunter cremated. S. Thompson. And he's like, you know, I know your last wish was to have something extravagant um, for your, your kind of last hoorah here. And so what does Johnny Depp do? He hires a bunch of engineers to build like a 150 foot cannon or something. And he gets all of his friends together with all of his wine and they drink their $30,000 of wine for the night. And shoot this guy up into the sky with like a couple hundred thousand dollars worth of fireworks. It's a great video. Yeah. Go, <laughs> go find that on YouTube. Um, along with 14 residents, 158 foot yacht, 12 storage facilities. I know why on that one, by the way, the 12 storage facilities, he's a hoarder oh, of collectible things. Sense. So expensive guitars, artwork, the guy literally had 12 different storage facilities just to hold all of the stuff that had value to him and 40 full-time employees. He needed round the clock, 24 seven security in his opinion. He earned over $650 million in his career. Yep. But it, yeah, uh, face financial ruin. Yeah. So the guy's ruined. He made $650 million. And, uh, well, the whole thing with Amber Heard didn't help either. Yeah. You look at the court costs on that one. Uh, what a disaster. So, uh, it goes back to his quote, money just reveals who you are. You're still the same guy. Right. Um, very, very interesting stuff to think about. Why are we even talking about it? Because it's relevant, right? Yes. You have to be smart enough to know, are you the type of person that intrinsically is bad with money 
because you can be bad with money and it doesn't care if you make a hundred thousand dollars a year or a hundred million dollars a year if you're bad with money you're going to screw it up unless what you learn you understand some, your downfalls understand yeah don't you, do it on your own you got yeah exactly i think that's where it comes back to it can be really really helpful to have someone in your corner saying hey this isn't sustainable you cannot continue on at this rate let's make sure that you're doing things that build or maintain your net worth so that you're not sliding backwards and you end up in a bankruptcy court